everyone, Aria Labs for the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Clockers Clock 01. This is their larger 41, I'm sorry, 44 millimeter wide watch. And this is the Clock 01 D7 that has a lovely blue dial and a mesh Milamese metal strap. You can actually put a bunch of different straps on here. And part of the whole point of the Clocker system is that the case can actually just be kind of sl slid off the strap. And so you see there's a special connection point here and they sell all kinds of different straps. So if you don't like this particular bracelet, you can get straps and things like that. And that's kind of cool um, that they're, they're designed to do that. Clocker's watches are inspired by the design of slide rules. Um, I've never actually had to use a slide rule and very few people I know have, but slide rules were pre-digital calculator devices to calculate things. And they were straight, sometimes they were circular, but they look cool, and this is definitely inspired by one. So how do you read the time on this? Well, it has a Swiss Ronda movement, which powers it, so it's a quartz movement, and you can see that there's three concentric discs. The inner disc is the seconds, because it's the one moving, and then you move out one and you have the minutes, and then you move out even further and you have the hours. And you read the time on this vertical line right here. So in this instance, it would be between the 10 and 11 o'clock hour. So if you want to just read the outer uh, ring, you can, and you can see it's somewhere between 30 and 45. Then you go down and you say, okay, it's, it's about, so it'd be about 1036, and then you can see the minutes going. It's a little bit difficult to get the hang of when you first start wearing it, but pretty soon, if you can read the, the dial, like there's enough light, then legibility is, is actually quite good. So let's put the watch on. Oh, before I put it on, there's this rubber piece right here that almost looks like a tongue where you'd put um, uh, excess strap. And maybe it's for comfort. I'm not really sure exactly why it's right there. You could remove it, but I'm, it's interesting how I'm just not quite sure what, that, what that's there for. Maybe if I didn't wear it for a while with, with, that, with that element, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's why it's there. So these, these Milanese straps are always kind of funny in terms of how they um, connect. You gotta get that hook on there. I size this really tight, that's why. There we go, so that's 44 millimeters wide. It's a little bit on the thick side, but you know, it sort of goes with the territory. Actually, it doesn't feel very thick. It actually looks thicker on the side and when it looks straight on, it de definitely looks like it has um, a thinner profile. It's a cool look for sure. A lot of people like clockers simply because they have an inspired look. Whether or not people know about slide rules, I think it's almost irrelevant. I think it's just interesting to see that kind of flat dial that has this this element right here that looks interesting. Um, it's an it's a it's an acrylic dial, so it 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 isn't um, sapphire or anything like that. Um, but it actually gives you an interesting look. It actually makes it feel a little bit more retro because looking through um, an acrylic crystal is different than looking through a sapphire or a mineral crystal. Again, you can, if you wanted to, you could take off the mesh metal bracelet, but it actually kind of looks cool um, with a mesh metal bracelet, the blue dial for the Clockers um, 01. Price for this particular version of the Clockers uh, Clock 01 D7 is 498 euros. You can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks. Mm -hmm.